you had to feel so horrible to get better. I have almost read my first book. <laughs> Any minute now, she's done so. I'm in a weird mood tonight. Hi guys. I feel like this is a strange start to my weekly vlogs, but this is how we're starting. We're starting on a Sunday night, the Sunday scaries. It's currently 10.35, if you guys can see that. And I'm about to go to bed, but I thought I would chat with you guys a little bit and give an update. So this week I actually took the week off because I was too sick to continue with chemo. My blood levels were too low and it was best to give myself a week off to recover a little bit more before we go back into chemo. But my week is over. Like I said, it's Sunday, so that means I have chemo in the morning, which sucks. <laughs> so yeah, I've been feeling a lot, lot better the past week, but I will say past week I've struggled with really bad insomnia. It takes me about three... I want to say it takes me about three to four hours to fall asleep. So like I said, I'm going to bed right now and I'll probably just read for a little bit on my Kindle. And usually that puts me asleep within, you know, half an hour ish. But yeah, it's been taking me three to four hours, which is really unfortunate. Honestly, I really don't want to go to chemo tomorrow. I'm really, really, really struggling with going through and putting this medicine into my body that just makes me feel like complete shit. <laughs> it's so hard to wrap your mind around that and the fact that you had to feel so horrible to get better is such a mind twister, let me tell you. And it just, I'm dreading going back into that hospital. I just don't want to go. But we have to. Round three, let's get it. Ugh. I think these are empty. So I have a new nausea medication. This is the last one that they have available to them that I have yet to have tried. I've tried every single nausea medication they have available and nothing has worked so far. I always get nauseous by the end of the week. So here's to hoping. Cheers. Do you want some water maybe? Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Okay guys, the time has come and we have to go to the hospital. I'm not looking forward to it whatsoever, but mom made herself a nice coffee. Mm -hmm. what, how do you think? Do you like it? Yep. I'm gonna have to read some. I'm gonna have to go on TikTok and read some recipes. See me ravaging Mm-hmm. I'm sweating so much right now. Chemo sweats. I just got home from chemo. It ended up being a really long day just because it, they were really behind in the chemo suite. So it took longer than normal to actually like get in. I think we had a, I want to say it was a hour and a half to two hour wait, which is one of the longer waits we've had. But anyways, it's now 7.30 and we made it home. I did do a few pit stops on the way home though because I am on the hunt to find supplies for my reading journal. This is a bullet journal that was actually like gifted to me, but I've turned it into my 2023 reading journal. So yeah, I went on a hunt today for washi tape, double-sided tape, stickers, that kind of thing that I could use to make my spreads a little nicer just because like right now they're really boring. But while we were out, we stopped at Dollarama to see if they had this stuff and they didn't, but they did have fall decor. And yes, I know it is the middle of July and I absolutely do not need these things yet. However, I've just been really excited about fall this year because obviously my summer consists of chemo. I don't have really anything to look forward to this summer except getting through it and getting to fall. So I bought this little like, it's definitely supposed to be a candle like holder, like, you know what I mean? But it's a little acorn and it's freaking adorable and I thought it'd be cute to just like throw my rings on on my desk or something. And then I also got these two like pumpkins. You cannot tell me these are not adorable. They're also like quite heavy. I don't know if they're like paperweights or just heavy ceramic. Look at how messy this 
desk is. Oh my gosh. Is my room messy? Like I really can't see behind me that well. So I'll give you guys a little update. It's now 10 o'clock. I'm probably honestly gonna go to bed soon, but I'm currently eating some smart sweets. So I'm eating those and I'm reading my book. I feel pretty good. I do have a headache. Don't want mom to know that though, because I'll have to take Advil. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to read my book. I'm currently in the middle of Finale by Stephanie Garber. I'm literally right halfway. Where's your water? Thanks, mom. Given the vlog update, do you want to say anything? That um, I have almost read my first book. <laughs> I'm so proud. Thanks to our little li li librarian. She's reading Flawless by Elsie Silver. I will be done it tonight, probably. Are you actually gonna finish it tonight? Well, I've only got like... Are you addicted? How long is it? I'm so proud. She's a very fast reader. But yeah, I'm in the middle of reading Finale, but I kinda might start reading Beach Read because I think I want a romance. Oh, I just watched another girl talk about another one. She... Happy Place. Yeah. Pink cover? Yeah, and she got a signed copy. Mm, must be nice. Her dedication for this book is for Joey. You're, you are so perfectly my favorite person. Hmm. That's her partner, I believe. It could be wrong. Okay, night. Okay, night. What book do I read? We are in the exact same position we last were. <laughs> Oops. It is now 11.30 and I just showered, even though you can't tell. And I'm about to go to sleep. I do have to take my anti-nausea meds right now we're trying out a new regimen which i kind of mentioned at the start of today so pretty much it's one pill that lasts all week and then at night we're also going to try out a another pill that i take every single night and we don't know if it's really going to help a whole lot we're just going to try it out see if it works if it doesn't I just won't take it because it won't really be worth it if it does nothing. But the issue with these ones is they knock me out, which is good at night, but when I take them during the day as emergency anti-nausea drugs, I'm obviously out for like 12 hours and it's like, I'm out. You're not waking me up. <laughs> that is my plan for the night. I'm gonna take those drugs, read on my Kindle for a little bit, and hopefully fall asleep a bit earlier than last night. Last night I was up till 3 a.m. Also, do you guys like the little bear my brother got me? He gave it to me, man. He moved out. I need to stop procrastinating and I just need to take these pills. <laughs> Am I a child? I can never open these. Okay, it is Tuesday morning. We're literally at the hospital about to walk in for day two of chemo. I'm looking at so a fun. gin sour recipe. Yeah, meanwhile, mom is searching up <laughs> drinking recipes. Okay. Looks really good. In front of your daughter who can't drink. I'll have one for you. <laughs> That's about it, though. We are about to go in. I'll get day two of chemo. Today is kind of a big day. I have my bleo as well, so that means I have all three of my chemo drugs. And then they'll also do a full bag of fluids just because I am very sensitive to bleo. Today usually takes about four hours, which means I will be shutting the place down because they close at 6 and my appointment is at 1.30, so. If you know, you know. You know? Um, I made it back home from chemo. Uh, it went pretty good today. It was a long day. I think I got done at like 6 o'clock-ish. I'm now ending off my night just taking a bath because I need to take a bath and I'm also exhausted, so I need to go to bed soon. <laughs> it's currently eight o'clock-ish and I slept through most of my chemo treatment and I'm probably gonna be in bed sleeping really early because I had Benadryl today to help with my reactions to Bleo and that always makes me so sleepy. So I think that's all for today. I didn't really vlog much today, so my apologies, but I kind of had more energy yesterday. So I feel like I vlogged more then. Today I've just been very lethargic and tired, so. Do you guys remember when I said like, yeah, I was gonna go to bed early after my bath and everything? That did not happen. It's now 11 o'clock. Everyone in my house is asleep. I should also be asleep, but I'm not. I just spent my night doing computer work that I've been avoiding. So there are a few emails that I responded to. I updated my Notion finally. So 
I have a notion where I do like all my budgeting, to-do lists, everything is on that. My life is on notion and I finally updated it and it was just like needed to be done very badly. But I am gonna go to bed now because I'm getting really sleepy and I should go to bed. So that is it for tonight. Good night guys, I will talk to you all in the morning. Hopefully I'm feeling okay still. Wednesday is usually my turnaround day. So Wednesday night, I start to feel pretty crappy usually. Hopefully that won't happen, but we will see. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. It has probably been like a second for you, but it's been like over a week since I last vlogged. At the end of last week, I started to feel kind of downhill and I just get really low energy. So it's really hard for me to vlog when I'm really tired all the time. But today is Friday of the next week. And I'm just going to continue the vlog because I think I only filmed like two or three days last week. So, but today we actually have fun plans. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. And that involves watching the Barbie movie and taking my parents to go see it because we all really want to watch it. And I thought it'd be a fun outing because we actually had rain recently again and so mom and dad are out of the fields and i think it's supposed to rain again tonight so that means i get to go watch the movie so i'm happy about that this lighting is probably awful but um it is oh, my camera's about to die isn't it i keep forgetting to charge this battery but it's now nine o'clock and we did watch the barbie movie and i loved it it was not what I was expecting, but it was really good and had some good underlying messages. And I really liked it. Now I think mom and I might watch The Summer I Turned Pretty because it came out last night, but we were busy, so we didn't watch it. And that's it that I really have to say. I'm really just waiting for this camera to die because like any minute now she's done so. Welcome to my bathroom. All right, time to take some pills. <laughs> I don't want to take them. Oh my God, I'm such a baby. Why is this so hard? Okay, cheers. First up is Senecott number one. Senecott number two. Last pill. This one is the nausea, sleep, all of the above pill. That numbs all my pain. Cheers. Okay, that's all. Now I get to go to bed. Good night. I'm in a weird mood tonight. <laughs>